Hey guys, I got an exciting package. I've used most of these baits, but got a package from Z-Man I was gonna go through with you. The production releases of all the new products for this year. Uh, I've already looked through some of it, maybe used a little bit of it, but there's some cool stuff in here. So one thing, first thing I grabbed, the cross eyes chatter bait. So it's a uh, straight line tie chatter bait, but it's got a, a weed guard on it, a flexible weed guard. So you can bend it up, bend it down, whatever you'd like. Five out O'Shaughnessy style hook, kind of an old school style hook. A lot of guys still really like uh, the same hex blade that we've seen, but uh, awesome skirt colors, really cool chatter bait that's weedless. So you can fish it through a lot of that cover. Uh, you know, David Walker actually taught me how to make weedless chatter baits years ago. I've been making them myself. Z-Man came out with one now, really cool deal. Next off, the long shots. I got to see these as a prototype. They're finally a production model. It's a six inch straight tail worm. Uh, really common drop shot worm style. You know, we've used a six inch straight tail for a long time out west drop shot. And Aaron Martins is uh, taking a lot of our money using different brands of these six inch straight tails. But this is out of Elastec. So super durable, really good nose hooked or on a Texas rig. The really cool thing about this is the Elastec that it has so much action in the water. It's incredible because it's buoyant, has a ton of action in the water, a lot more than other worms you're gonna see out there, a straight tail worm. Obviously nothing to impart action, but this worm has a lot of action of its own because it, it is elastic and has that buoyancy to it and really durable. Some cool new colors in that coming out too. What is this? The Dormitadors. I think this is a flounder bait. Anybody out there saltwater fishing, I'll use those for sea bass for sure. Lingcod, uh, scented bait, they're made for flounder, but uh, all that inshore stuff and uh, bottom fishing stuff, those will be awesome. Awesome big grubs for that. That's Atomic Sunrise color they won't miss there. Um, again, a bunch of new colors out in the saltwater stuff too. Uh, finesse eyes jig heads. So they're a straight jig head, a straight eye jig head rather, 90 degrees straight eye. This is a three odd. So a lot of the, it was a dubbed as a Demiki fishing, you know, fishing a bait, a little straight tail bait, vertically fishing works good for that, but also works good for a swim bait too. Bull eyes, a Louisiana favorite right there. Uh, giant beetle spin, pretty much. It's a head that's going to hold elastic up. Uh, really good hook. Of course, a big blade. A lot of redfish guys use it. I actually know some bass fishing guys that do, do too. The finesse size jig head. Again, that style fishing when you're fishing vertical, but also works good on a little Z-Man minnows. I've caught a lot of them just casting it and fishing it on the bottom like you would a Ned rig. But on little minnows like that matches the bait really well. You can fish it vertical or even the little uh, two and a half or three inch slim swims. I've used that head on those when we were testing them out. A light wire hook, just really realistic finishes. A great bait for a lot of things. This is actually a bait. I might have dug one or two of these out and caught some fish on this morning. Uh, the baby goat. So this is like a Ned Rig st sized goat that's it's got uh, little legs that kick. They come stuck together so they stay and keep their shape, but uh, a lot of action. They kick with very little movement, small little rib body, but really universal bait on a really small jig, Ned head, drop shot, uh, a bunch of different things like that. And uh, it's actually been a, a good bait this morning. Caught quite a few fish on it. Um, there's a sprayed grass, long shots. That's a pretty bait there. I'll pull one out and show you. That's a, uh, another six inch straight tail worm, but in sprayed grass. Really pretty little bait. Again, tons of action with that Z-Man plastic. You keep them straight in the bag here so they stay that way. Oh, this is like a big fluke style bait. Oh, boy, this was a... What was this called? Hmm, I'm trying to remember the name of it now. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a really cool bait. It'd actually be a good chatterbait trailer if you cut it down or you want a really big chatterbait. Uh, but uh, fishing it like a soft jerk bait. A lot of saltwater guys are gonna use a style bait, but a lot of bass guys kind of forgotten about it. Everybody remembers the days of the sluggo, but this here is kind of a new improvement out of it. Out of the Elastec, we're gonna drop shot also. Uh, pretty cool bait there. This here is the original goats. So a bigger size one, really good swim jig trailer, chatterbait trailer, Texas rig, a lot of different things. Um, again, another bait I've had the luxury of playing around with as a prototype. I was able to catch quite a few fish on it. I know Mark Daniels Jr. did the same. Um, he caught some fish at Lake Fork in a tournament on that bait. And this one here, I haven't really fished much, but I just played in it with the water, the billy goat. 
So this here is the biggest of the goats. This is a really cool bait on top. It's almost like a buzz frog. So you can reel it and it'll spray water on the top. But it also is a really good jig trail. You want a big bulky jig profile with some fast action to the legs kicking. Really good bait. Because they're elastic, really buoyant, are going to stand up. Uh, a lot of different ways you could fish that. Carolina rig, obviously this isn't pearl, but there's a lot of natural, natural colors coming out too. A lot of cool stuff there. Getting closer to the bottom of the bag. More finesse size. We've already talked about those. The Pro Bullets. Here's one this morning. I had an eighth ounce with that baby goat. I've uh, caught a bunch of fish on it today. It really pairs up well with it. That's kind of a unique fall because the weight's back on the shanks. That bait does, doesn't nosedive head first. It kind of wants to glide around, especially with those lighter weights. Uh, the lead keeper is going to hold elastic up there really well and comes through the cover really good. Uh, there's going to be guys using the big TRD, some other baits with it. But that baby goat, uh, pretty impressive this morning how good it's been. More finesse size, and that looks like the bottom of the bag. Um, we, uh, oh, I almost forgot one here. I had one that I already tied on. It was the Chatterbait Stealth that was in there. Um, this is the clear bladed version of the Jackhammer. So not only is this really subtle because of that clear blade, but it's a lot tighter action. It's a really tight, it's not real wild and hard thumping, it's a lot tighter action, a lot more subtle bait. Uh, it's gonna be a really good clear water bait. Cold water is really where I see this bait excelling. It's really tight. We all know less vibration is better in that cooler water, so um, it's gonna really excel there. there are places that it's heavily pressured. I know I had one other bait that I was gonna show you, and there they are. The Leap Frogs. This is a bait I helped design a couple years ago. They were exclusive to one retailer. Now we're going to see them at Tackle Warehouse and all over the place at other retailers. It's a hollow body frog. It's super soft, uh, hooks the fish really well. It comes in two different sizes and a this is a non-popping version in the 2.75. Uh, super durable hooks. It doesn't leak water. It's got a really deep keel. So anybody that has a hard time walking a frog, you just want to make it easier. Your line gets a bow in it. This is a super easy frog to walk because of that keel right there. Makes that bait walk exceptionally well. Really soft. It's going to purge water and air. Hook the fish a lot better. Uh, really cool colors. In the smaller size, which also comes in the popping in the walking, is the 2.25 inch, which this is the popping version here. You can see the mouth on it. It's a pretty aggressive popping mouth. So you can work this bait like a hula popper almost and bloop, bloop if you want. Or it also catches a ton of water. It makes it even easier to walk than the regular one. But it'll spray water. This little frog will spray water four or five inches uh, and create a lot of commotion. Uh, it doesn't come through the cover as good as the leapfrogs now because of that open mouth on it. So you're getting really thick stuff. I like to use that leapfrogs more. Open water, dirty water, the pop frog and the 2.25 or the 2.75 uh, really good baits. Again, I may be a little bit partial because I helped design it. I've been using it for a couple years, but uh, really cool little frog kind of coming out by Z-Man. You can check all these baits out. Uh, Z-Man's website, zmanfishing.com. A tackle warehouse is going to carry all these. So a lot of options, a lot of places to find them, a lot of cool colors to see. Check them out. If you have any questions, message me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you can get a hold of me.